Hi folks, my name is Mitch, aka M177A, here to do a, another Let's Play um, for a game, Craft Legend. They recently released a new patch, uh, 1.2 patch, that changed uh, quite a bit of things. So with that being said, let's just jump right in. Uh, the UI has changed quite a bit. Um, more stats are shown in the character screen. The button on the left hand corner will um, have you auto equip your best gear that you currently have in your inventory. Uh, there is some I guess coding wording issue that needs to be worked out still. Uh, so one of the bugs that I did notice right away is the top left corner. It doesn't show the picture anymore. I'm not too sure what happened there. Uh, and there's something else that has also uh, I noticed right away was the little announcement on the top um, screen right there. It's a scroller window and it just tells everybody what um, what you got. So that might be a promotion for their cash shop or whatever. Um, a lot of the buttons have moved around. The button on the top for your main UI interface has shrunk quite a bit. Uh, the second row is completely gone and it used to really get in the way. And when anytime that I wanted to use my archaic crystal um, to try to teleport somewhere, it would interfere with the buttons because it would just overlap and I would end up having to either move a little bit further away or um, kind of like push everything to the side. Uh, something that I did notice that you can't do anymore is push everything to the side. Uh, what I mean by that is having all the icons scooch over to the right. There was a button that will allow you to hide it kind of like your bar on the bottom. That button it hides all the, um, the icons for your, uh, your hotbar. Uh, the buttons did move into another area called more and everything here um, including the interval reward is in here so just make sure you check that up um, don't forget to spin uh, with the introduction of the new patch they gave us some gold and quite noticeably they gave us a lot more bag space um, i believe i was at 155 and opening up this game this morning i'm now at 235 so definite up definitely a plus um <clears throat> a bad part of what i did notice is that food does not replenish uh quite a bit as what it has said before uh, might be a bug but it's saying that if you're eating uh food that is you know quite lower than what your level is and you're not going to get the same effect so i was eating like this lizard meat right here recommended level 40 and i was getting one hunger replenish every single time i ate one of those which is ridiculous that makes no sense at all it's going to be very difficult to try to dig around and explore and everything uh, because you're going to be restricted because of the energy that you're just lacking uh something else that changed are the sound effects that the these pillars here make um, these prism towers, they sound more like laser beams. Uh, so that's something there. Um, the trees, some of the trees have changed. These trees, these oak trees have stayed the same. There's no change at all from what I can tell. The palm trees have changed quite significantly. They look completely different than the previous ones. The, um, I guess the pine trees have also changed as well. Um, the older ones, the top of the pine tree would cut into the dirt right there, and now it actually falls short of it. Um, also, when you walk behind the pine tree, or like through the pine tree, the leaves cover you as well. So it kind of looks like you're going underneath the tree itself. Uh, the trees from the blight biome, I don't see any changes at all. Maybe the stump got a little bit larger. Um, Another thing that popped up just right now is that random people come into your base and <clears throat> if you, I believe, if you have them follow you, um, they have to be around the same level as you are. And now you have a free follower. Um, they go with you pretty much everywhere you go through. They will teleport with you, um, whatever they have currently equipped. These are other players, if I understand correctly they will use that item that they have equipped to attack. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's basically having another set of followers. 
if you decide to spar with them you can actually kill them or defeat them in this sense and they'll drop a little bit of silver <clears throat> they're very easy to defeat they do very minimum damage so you don't have to worry about that too much going back to the trees these are the trees from the <clears throat> from the jungle biome and they have um, changed a little bit I think they're not as tall as before um, these are still growing so I can't show you the full-blown ones right there in terms of the crops I did notice that the watermelons look slightly a little different <clears throat> but nothing really too big uh, <clears throat> the rice and the wheat can easily be differentiated before they kind of look really similar <clears throat> um, so that's that's with that everything else looks like it's the same um, the maybe the sheep pen might look a little different because I don't remember the sheep going into the little houses there and being behind the background <clears throat> um, another thing that you have on your screen next to your attack button is the archaic crystals um, icon uh, this is a teleport icon this allows you to teleport to the archaic crystal um, within two seconds the main thing is that if you get attacked or you take any damage or if you move then it just it stops the the transport time so if you're caught in a jam don't bother even using this because it's not going to work um, you're just going to get hit and you're probably going to die if you're trying to teleport out um, what you need to do is still load up the uh, portal remote into your hotbar this is an instant teleport still, so you don't have to worry about waiting around or anything like that. <clears throat> so the following, uh, uh, following with everything that's going on that's new, we have daily quests. These daily quests can be completed, um, resets every day at reset. And the more you complete, the, the higher progress you get. And you can claim rewards on the side right there. Um, the unlock premium button you have to spend some money in order to um, obviously subscribe this is gonna cost 10 bucks and if I understand correctly you get a bunch of different rewards um, it's up to you this is if you want to support the game I say go for it it's not that much anyways 10 bucks um, but if you want to be a free-to-play then don't even bother looking at this because it's not it's really really not necessary uh, so let's see a couple of other things as well that I did notice is there's a little icon on the side this is your trip diary this will uh, kind of keep track of what's been going on as you progress through the different biomes and it'll allow you to unlock to get various rewards um, there's three different categories adventure survival and also construction so when you re uh, claim these rewards you get uh, some experience and random rewards here and there a glitch that i did notice is that when you play videos let me see let's go back to this here follower all right so when you play videos there's like some crazy flashing randomness on the side right there um, on the side of my screen on the right you can see the flashing going on so that's some type of graphical glitch there um, the icons on the top also are very uh, easy to navigate these are the former pet icons um, you don't need to go into a pet icon on the right screen anymore you can just click on that pet and then you can switch them out accordingly same thing with your follower uh, one thing uh, another thing that I did notice is with the shields or with the trophies I mean when you hit this like recycle or rotate button you can change two different shields and you can switch it out too uh the cool thing is uh repair costs repair costs for a broken item uh, such as a silver pickaxe takes one silver to repair 
it used to cost six silver to repair 30 durability and <coughs> the durability for the gathering tool has also increased the base durability so we all know that we've experienced um, the 30 durability um, and that quite got quite annoying real quick uh, you dig a little you have to repair dig a little bit more and you have to repair at least with 60 it gives you a little bit more time to um, kind of push through the, <clears throat> the, the through the caves before you have to repair uh, so some of the um, followers have new items that they sell let's go up to the gardener and the gardener now sells scarecrows um, I haven't tested out to see what they are um, I, it, I mean it's pretty straightforward it increases the gro growth rate of nearby plants I don't know by how much it's 30,000 silver I'm not ready to kind of drop that kind of money uh, rich soil is also available to be purchased um, this will allow you to grow anything on it it's just straight up it's it's as simple as that you don't have to worry if the watermelon is on you know sand or if the potatoes is on snow or dirt or mud or whatever so this is kind of a universal it's universal dirt that's what it is <clears throat> um and uh the sun lamp was there before so those are the two new things from the gardener so the other thing that has changed is oh the the little follower pet the one that they give you for free this little dog thing is going a little it, it's also glitched it, it, it's a little wild um sometimes when it falls let me just show you. You just have to kind of see it to believe it. There you go. So the pet's right there. I'm going to just drop straight down. Oh, the pet just followed with me. Oh, there you go. So you see the pet? You see how it just kind of flickers and it just it just twitches in midair which is I'm like what the heck <laughs> that's definitely a glitch look at that it's floating and now the head's twitching like crazy <laughs> so that's a, that's just a graphical glitch uh, we are sorry about that that's all this video is about the new patches and the new glitches um, for those who have purchased trophies from the commission's clerk, I'm not too sure what had happened, uh, but these trophies are a lot cheaper. So, like, the um, Bloodmire trophy is 2,000 medallions. I think it was like 6,667 before. Um, some of these other trophies are a lot cheaper, like the Bio Ant and the Living Sludge, which those names have been fixed um, because it looked like it's some weird coding from before. Um, but yeah, it doesn't. Um, it, I mean, it's just more affordable. That's what it is. All right. So going back to what I was saying, this is a person that just randomly entered my base. Um, and what, like I said, if you spar with them, they do very little damage to you, see? And you just attack them. And when you kill them, or defeat them, you get some gold. So I got 450 silver from there. Well, not gold, but silver. Uh, the thing that I find annoying with them is that they are also able to open doors. So when they open doors, they let other monsters in and the monsters can kill your your followers and or um, the people that you have um, in your in your home so please just keep that in mind um, if especially if you don't have a defensive setup going on so another thing that they have added into the game the refiner here also repairs I didn't notice that before I thought it only did refining I could be wrong who knows whatever's <clears throat> 
Uh, pet guardian is still the same. So there's no new pets there. Um, the tailor is still the same. There's no new added gear there. And I know there's a new area, the, um, a new PVP area. So let's just go to the warp master. Uh, okay, I didn't want to collect that wood platform, but whatever. Let's, let's just teleport. So there's an arena manager, you can set up squad PvP. Squad PvP, it's basically you, it's kind of like doing the, um, the expeditions, but now you're also involved as well. Um, and yeah, you add in all your guys and you yourself are also included. And it's 15 people, different rankings and stuff like that. Mm, the roulette bunny, it looks like it's still the same. Doesn't look like there's anything new that's added here. Uh, they did destroy this part because a lot of, I guess a lot of people didn't understand that they can go underneath the platform here. Um, so that's, that's something new. The dungeon master, I don't, uh, the hunger says 15 plus. I thought it was something different before. I don't know what had happened. It looks like it's all the same. You can't do any Lando gears because you gotta be level 99. I don't think anyone's. I think that's only for uh, GM people. <laughs> I don't think anyone's level 99. Auctioneer still doesn't work, so don't bother going to that. If you do go to the uh, miner, definitely buy the little um, the mining permits because you won't buy two a day. I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, I wish you can actually just fall down instead of waiting for this platform. Um, the archaic crystal summoning icon works here. It uh, the archaic crystal didn't work before here, so that's something new. This is the query foreman. Make sure when you do buy, you buy the mining permits. Just buy. You can only buy two a day. And the reason why you want to keep buying them every day since you only you can only get two. Um, and this guy looks like a minion too is because when you get to higher levels it requires five mining permits to go into like the advanced quarry and the advanced quarry will drop cobalt and rubies and cobalt's the next thing that you're going to need in order to get new gear and when, especially when you start leveling up and uh, since you can only get two a day you can only enter the advanced quarry every two and a half days so essentially every three days you can enter it um, so that's why you want to buy two every single time. Um, don't forget that. So let's get back out. Okay. So that's pretty much essentially it. Um, there is a current quest bug that I believe everybody is facing now. It's called Pursuing Excellent, I guess. This is equipping one of your guys with a copper axe. Um, I tried many different variety of axes, including the copper axe, and it just didn't work. So uh, I already submitted a ticket, and I'm pretty sure they're aware of the situation. Um, let me see. I think that was all that I needed to show you. I don't think there's anything new at the grocer. Nothing's new there. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Thank you again if you stuck by with me for this long. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, if you want to subscribe to for new um, videos that I plan to be posting up later on in the future. Um, oh, looks like I got a Blood Moon event, which I am definitely not prepared for. Uh, these guys hit a lot harder because they're level 29 and I'm only 26. Uh, last time I did this, I got totally wrecked. So, yeah, this is going to suck. I have my defense set up, but it's going to go down quick. So, I'm not looking forward to this at all. I'm just going to let that go as far as I can. Hopefully my penguins and hopefully my little dogs 
can withstand the onslaught. Um, these guys should all get stuck in the corner somewhere. They won't be able to get up, that's for sure. So I couldn't defeat the boss last time around when it appeared. It destroyed me as well. Um, yeah, Blood Moon. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'm going to take care of this. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.